It's the first home run of the year for the Phillies. Give it back, son. Here you are. You know what? You can have it. You don't have to do that. Just forget about it. You're a fan, you know? Good job. What's the matter, Steve? I lost my cap. I guess I couldn't have a soda. There's nothing doing. Come on, Steve. Dad, look. There's my cap. My cap. It's coming out. What's this? Give me my hat back or I'll give you a poke on the nose. Watch it, boy. My son says that's his hat. Well, your son's crazy. That's my hat. I was with him when I got the hat when the Phillies played here. I got it from Eddie Condon. He stole it from me, you jerk. Don't call me a jerk. I've never leave, seen you in my life before, square. See, look, it's Eddie Condon's hat. It's fun. Yeah, it is. Have you ever seen this boy before? Nope. I bought that hat. My father knows I paid him. You'll have to speak with my father if you want your hat. Sure, I'll speak to your father. Let's go. Good evening. My boy didn't get your name. Mine's Hudson. Mine's Diamond. Come on in. So what's this about a cap? Wow, the white kids get excited about things like caps. Well, it's understandable, isn't it? So it is. Your boy pay for the cap. Two dollars. Two dollars? I'll give you that two dollars. That's fair enough. Or your boy might want to sell the cap. Would he take five dollars for it? Is it worth five dollars, Steve? No, thank you, Mr. Hudson. I'll give you ten dollars for the hat. It's only worth about a buck and a half, really. But it has a sort of sentimental value. You know what? I'll give you twenty dollars for the hat. How about that, Steve? I don't know. Well, here you are. It's a lot of money, but I guess you had the right to expect as much. Look, son, it was a mistake. I didn't realize how much I liked that night at the ballpark with you. With that money, we can buy you a new glove, and I can be your coach. I guess you do know how important that cap was. 